welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Our Bible story for today is the second story of creation that we find in the book of Genesis. The first story of creation is the beautiful hymn that celebrates God the Creator, naming each day in which God's creative love is on full display. But in this second story of creation, we have a more personal and intimate view of God's creative love. The heavens and earth exist, but there is nothing living. And so God creates a human and plants a garden. It is the human's work to till and keep the garden that God has created. I'm reading from Genesis chapter 2, verses 4 through 9 from the Common English Bible. On the day the Lord God made the earth and sky, before any wild animals appeared on the earth, and before any field crops grew, because the Lord God hadn't sent rain on the earth and there was still no human being to farm the fertile land though a stream rose from the earth and watered all the fertile land. The Lord God formed a human from the topsoil of the fertile land and blew life's breath into his nostrils. The human came to life. The Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and put there the human he had formed. In the fertile land, the Lord God grew every beautiful tree with edible fruit and also grew the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Very often we hear this story of creation and we think about events in history and we see this as an account in history. But another way in which we can look at this story is to view it as a description of the life that we have as we live in relationship with God. We are, each and every one of us, God's beloved creation. God has breathed into us and God has placed us into a garden, the garden of our own lives. And we are, each one of us then, to till and keep the garden that God has given to us. Now there is yet another way for us to to look at this story. We can see it as a description of our life of prayer. In our prayer time, God breathes life into us and we till and keep our spiritual garden. There is a beautiful prayer from the Russian Orthodox Church that uses the the metaphor of farming as a way of understanding our life of prayer. The soul that is not nourished by prayer is like a tree without topsoil. Pray in the woods, pray when you plow, pray in the fields, pray when you dig ditches, pray in silence so that no one can see you. For your prayer exercise today, try going outside and either take a handful of some dirt or do some gardening. As you do this, give thanks. Give thanks that God nourishes your life through prayer.